Yeah. And the only answer that, that comes to mind is that's the sort of thing that our government does sometimes when they're taking somebody down, like a political figure or something like that. They make yeah. those sorts of false evidences famously. Yeah. Like if you look at the sort of things they were doing to Martin Luther King or, or, or uh, Malcolm X or, um, you know, even we talked about, you know, it's people we don't like as well. It's not like they're just picking on civil rights leaders. Also, like Fidel Castro, just mm -hmm. all those wily coyote stunts they tried to pull, <laughs> making his beard fall out, making him yeah. be on LSD during his speeches, mm -hmm. all that craziness, kookiness. And the the bad part is they kept failing somehow. Like, how did Fidel keep getting the best of us over and over? The, that had to be such, a prank such an uh, L. Operation Mongoose, which was their, their operation to kill him or depower him or whatever, is the dumbest so it's it's literally like they watched a Bugs Bunny cartoon and were like, we could do this. We could. What is it? it? Like, what? So they it was an operation the CIA put together that was off the books for a while. Uh, the guy who headed it was, man, I forget his name. He's the same guy who headed Operation Wailing Soul, uh, which is when they tried to convince the Vietnamese that there were ghosts in the jungle. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that, it was the same guy. The same guy what who ran that one. Ridiculous country. <laughs> and and the and the same guy who uh, staged the vampire attack in the Philippines, which I made a video about. Yeah, um, but that it, was his so, credit that he used to get that second. Game. Literally, that's the guy who they're like, he's he's got Castro in the bag. <laughs> yeah. He'll be fine. <laughs> Castro notoriously afraid of ghosts. <laughs> so. The Operation Mongoose was uh, essentially his series of plans to get rid of Castro. And some of the plans in there that they sent agents on to try to do was put exploding cigars in his cigar box. Um, they tried to put poisonous pins in his slip in his house shoes so that he steps on attack and gets poisoned um, or venom. Uh, they tried to uh, they tried to sabotage the cattle in. Um, cuba because castro was famously a big fan of ice cream so they were like if we can huge. get rid of ice cream yeah huge uh, two fights can, tonight it How literally slim if if we Didn't. can get th their plan was if we can get really rid cool, of man. ice cream he's gonna fall apart like he'll just be he'll fall apart at the seams <laughs> he needs uh, his ice cream <laughs> they tried to they tried to poison his ice cream on multiple occasions they tried to have his server like spike it with something uh, there was what Kyle said. They tried to spike his drink at meetings so he would go up to stage high. Yeah, um, I did hear they uh, they that time they they painted a tunnel on a rock in front yeah, of the that, That's Famous. what they were getting and, to, and it was insane. <laughs> Look, Fidel's 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 limo approaches the rock they painted, and the CIA was over there watching. Like, oh, we got him this time. You fucking believe it? He drove through <laughs> and, 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 and the cia was like all right well, we can still get him and they rushed to run through the rock as well bust their heads on it right there <laughs> on the ground it was yeah. humiliating it was Hoisted humiliating by their own guitar <laughs> that's that was the downfall of that uh that weapon manufacturer what was uh, mm -hmm. acme acme yeah yeah, yeah. they made <laughs> yeah they made terrible weapons uh, uh, <laughs> you could never recover oh, after that yeah mm -hmm. that was no. a reputation no but yeah they, they tried to kill him in so many a pint of ice cream boys. is roughly never 800 worked. calories up like if he's eating vanilla ice cream i think a pint's like 800 calories roughly if it's full fat ice cream and you gotta imagine that 1960s shit is not skim milk that ain't no oat ice cream that's some full <laughs> that's must double have been... fat he must have been skimping on calories a lot of the day to afford sixteen hundred. Smoking those ciggies? He was like, a big like drinker. Had two bowling balls in his oh, belly. That guy. You guys act like a... he stayed thin. All the photos I, I remember know. of him are are like young him with that you powerful know, yeah, we're, beard. We're remembering was... like the young picture. He probably got fat as hell. Here's the thing, though. Remember how long he lived? Like, like he just died like yeah, 10, 12 died years recently. ago or something. No, no, Raul? it was like it was like four years ago, four or five years ago. But Raul had happened. taken over, I guess, maybe for a while. Yes, yeah, Castro had been older to the side for a bit. Yeah, Raul I'm glad we opened that shit up. Like that's old business, as far as I'm concerned. Like we should be able to get those cigars if they're actually any fucking good. Yes, cigars yeah. suck, man. Uh, they're, they're just the... they just they're gross. They just I'm don't willing. taste good. Have you ever like? So all right every time I've you start my a cigar you're always feeling like i'm gonna feel classy i'm gonna get it and then you start it and you're thinking i'm in I like, this for an hour <laughs> i've told this whole story before but like i got into cigars and because i got like a humidor and maybe some other like accessories for christmas one year and i had like a dude i got a 300 dollar lighter like let's we should probably buy a cigar <laughs> <laughs> and uh and so i got into them and i realized right away like the regular like i don't know kind of cigars that like dudes smoke on a golf course just make me lightheaded and taste like strong, thick, wet tobacco. 
but the ones I like were these cigarillos that were somewhere kind of like that shit Clint Eastwood would always be chewing on, like about that diameter. It's not a big fat cock that they're, you're puffing on. It's just a little bit bigger than a cigarette, but it's brown wrapping and they're flavored. And I think it's more like a white guy Swisher Sweet, if I'm being honest. Like they were classy or they were like, you know, they were the the flavors you'd get at a gas station yeah <laughs> but i think they maybe i think they probably actually used oranges and the ones i was so buying. you're smoking wood tip wines <laughs> like like they were expensive and i was I, I would always stop and like for maybe a year i was smoking those things i would stop when we went to florida and uh at a at like a cigar place that was there but every time we went to vegas i would stock up but those i like but the but, but like what cigars well, those aren't a big like? commitment like Commit- you're just smoking a normal a little if you want to throw away half oh, of the time, cigarillo, you don't care. Oh, yeah. Oh, forget the time. And and the other thing is like, when do you light it up? Like 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 what? It's got to be like when you're back home, when you can smoke it freely. The worst thing ever is when someone's smoking one in your presence and it's disgusting. Like, like, like I've played poker with with a guy who smoked cigars before, and he was like, not right next to me, but one seat over, ruined the whole night for me. Like I, I like the it. smell of cigars, even if I don't I like smoking do them. They they smell pretty good. He was like, smoking some. Na- it was rich. like it was, it was like unrolling and peeling apart, and he was gnawing at it incessantly. So it was all wet and like I would describe the appearance of his that's cigar rude. as vulgar. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, well, then that is just that's a rude problem of him. It seems because if he was just sitting there and like was, smoking it normally, not he was like eating it, short and fat. And I remember thinking like, whose friend is this? Like, like who is this person? Yeah, he didn't he have a lot. The penguin hanging out. Mm-hmm. It, honestly, like not far from it. It was such a gross old cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs>